One time for your mind, two time for your soul, you already know who it is. As hip hoppers, right? A long time. The fucking history of how we got here is lost because niggas came along. After those that believed in us, when we didn't have money and we didn't have nothing, such as Ralph McDaniels, right? Video music box. Now, all of a sudden, all these folks are coming along with their money, blah, 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 and we run with them. I would say, y'all niggas like challenges? Let's motherfucking say this. The 50th anniversary of hip-hop should be something that's motherfucking directed and choreographed by Ralph McDaniels. Not none of these big MTV, BTs, whatever the fuck, Grammys, this, that, and third. Let's go back to the motherfuckers that made us who the fuck we are. And if we gonna get some money on the... Because we still begging. Y'all niggas can't even front on me like we old school niggas and we ain't begging. Well, y'all are begging. I ain't begging for shit. Fuck you. I ain't begging a nigga for nothing. But all I'm saying is... Any 50th anniversary shit, I think that we should do it as a conglomerate. But any of you niggas that feel, oh, I got to fuck with this nigga to just be seen, do your thing. That's all right. Do your thing. But I don't fuck with you. I love you, but I don't fuck with you. Because I say, if you want to challenge any of you motherfucking old school niggas, and any 50th anniversary shit, I would say that it should be done by us, for us, with us, by us, by Ralph McDaniels. He holds all the footage to everything. But yet the industry tries to make Ralph feel like, oh, this let us get... No, that ain't it. That nigga film is worth gold. Fuck y'all niggas. That nigga got shit y'all want. Pay him like you owe him. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? But I'm giving y'all a challenge. I got two things that I'm doing. One with Charlie Mac. Why? Because Charlie Mac Ewan, that's what I call him. First out the limo, that's my nigga. Chill Will called me and he said, yo, I fuck with DJ Cassidy. We're going to do Radio City Music Hall. I ain't do it because of Radio City Music Hall. Fuck that. I sang at Radio City before. I don't give a fuck about that. Because of my friends. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? But anything after that, 50th anniversary, nigga, I'm part of that whole motherfucking movement. Right? I'm not coming to your shit. I think that Ralph McDaniel should be able to motherfucking put this shit together and we all rock with that nigga. Because why? Fuck the new niggas that don't know. But all of us old niggas that know. That nigga Ralph McDaniel is the nigga that made you motherfucking popular in Florida. This state, that state. Why? Video motherfucking music box. And so with the 50th anniversary, fuck the niggas that threw money at us. After the fact, Ralph believed in us when we ain't had no motherfucking money. All we could do was pay him to make a video and put our shit on his shit. And we didn't even pay him to put our shit on his fucking video music box. He played it because he loved it. Mine, he had to play because, nigga, you made that shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> like I say, y'all looking at me fucked up because, you know what? These over here, fuck them. <laughs> he just feel like a motherfucking truck. I might pull these shits out mid-sentence. All right? But like I say, after those two things I'm doing with Charlie Mack and uh, DJ Cassidy, fuck all that 50th anniversary of hip-hop if we are not getting the money, and we're going with these folks that threw money at us after we was hurt. Nigga, fuck y'all. I'm gonna stay broke. Fuck you. So, Ralph, when you set that 50th anniversary up, we should all be coming. These niggas will fucking do a plank fucking, what do you call that? A plank challenge before they fucking do a let's do this shit with Ralph McDaniels and we get the money and we just motherfucking control everything. So, like I said, Ralph, I'm putting it on you. Hook it up. Make it happen. And if these niggas don't fuck with us where we fuck with us when we fuck with us, fuck them. Let them do what they do. We ain't mad at them.
All right? Appreciate you. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. I just like to recognize people that was there for us when we didn't have no money before a nigga came along and seen what we was doing and then threw the money at us and then made us forget about motherfucking Ralph McDaniels and then got us to do some fucking, like, we don't mean a thing, ain't got that swing video. Them niggas hired some motherfucking super duper motherfucking uh, Hollywood nigga to do that shit. I'd have rather Ralph do it. See how they cut our niggas off and when 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 shit get good? Fuck that nigga. Fuck Ralph. Fuck all that video music my shit. Fuck that. We gonna use this motherfucker. I'd have loved to kept Ralph doing my shit because that nigga had the vision. He saw what I saw and everything. Left me lonely was video music box. Ralph McDaniels, classic concept, first video they ever done, and it was pivotal to my career. I love you, Ralph, and I'm not doing any 50th anniversary unless it's yours. You deserve it. You've been there for us, you and all of the photographers, and all of y'all see, photographers, y'all got the still picture, but Ralph has the video. Yeah, I got my own ring to on my shit. Yeah, I'm on my own dick. But Ralph has all of the videos, and all of y'all are a pivotal part in our fucking careers. And stop letting these motherfuckers play you like, eh, we need your shit. They won't even... Nigga, if you had to check, you wouldn't be calling me, right? You dig what I'm saying? See, when they got the check, you don't get the phone call. It's when they need you to get the check. That's when you get the phone call, all right? Understand that. Put it in your brain and make it motherfucking work for you. Appreciate you. Love you, Ralph. About to take a sip of whistle to you. Video music box. Ralph McDaniels. Love you, brother. That sip was for you in Classic Concepts. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Today is my day of giving props. I'll have other days. But today I want to give props to Ralph McDaniel. A lot of motherfuckers don't know how influential Ralph McDaniel's video music box was to my career. Y'all ever see that video called Left Me Lonely? That was Ralph McDaniels and Classic Concept. At that time, they had Sabrina and motherfucking, you know, they had a, I ran over Sabrina's toe. She tried to tell me, you can't get lunch. Yeah, all right, uh, they fucked you up, Sabrina. They took, put you to fucking watch them. But Ralph, their first video that they ever done for Classic Concepts was Left Me Lonely. And what he did for my words and bring that shit to fucking life was nothing less than fucking genius. Like I say, y'all gonna have to get used to me talking with a little lisp for now because I don't keep these bitches in. I only put them in when I'm doing a video. But other than that, I don't wear them shits around. I'll fucking feel like a truck in my fucking mouth. All right? But in the end of the day, Hayes, I'm gonna call you back. But in the end of the day, I got to give props to Ralph McDaniels and Video Music Box because people across the country in Florida, they would tune into Video Music Box because that was the only place before BT, before VH1, before all of that shit. You had Ralph McDaniels. Ralph, I'm giving you your motherfucking props today. We're going to applaud this motherfucking Ralph McDaniels, my nigga. And if you ain't standing up and applauding, you ain't even got to stand up. You can sit down and applaud this man. He is very influential in a lot of the shit. After he did my video, you think I was mad he did KRS-One shit? Hell no. Because that nigga was doing what he do. Ralph McDaniels, I love you, my nigga. You know how your nephew Shizzle do, all right? I love you. Appreciate you. Y'all give it up for Uncle Ralph Video Music Box. A staple in hip-hop. He has more footage of hip-hop motherfucking than any of you motherfuckers. So if you want to see Ralph, you better come with the check, my nigga, because he has our history. Appreciate you, Ralph. Love you. She used to tell me that she loved me all the time, and I turned to her and say that I'm 
infatuated by your lovely smile, and someday soon we're gonna walk the aisle. You turned that shit into a masterpiece, my nigga, I love you. Y'all ain't used to seeing me pop my lip up and see something. Fuck the bottom, nigga. I got the top, sense. <laughs>